the top five data careers are paying six figure salaries and for some of them you can even start without any prior experience in this video i will show you the five best data jobs you can get right now plus a bonus one at the end that most people don't know about i will also tell you exactly what skills you need how you can learn them and what companies are hiring if you never worked in data before don't worry because i will explain how you can switch to these jobs even if you have no experience by the end of this video, you will know the exact steps to get started and land one of these amazing jobs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Laura, I'm a data analytics lead with over six years of experience working in data and AI space. And if you like these topics, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future videos. And so let's get started. Before we jump into the highest paid data jobs, there is one role you need to know about. And it's a position that many people start with and it's the perfect stepping stone to more advanced roles. So the role of a data analyst essentially is uh, taking historical data, so data from the past, to also understand what happened in the past. And this is an important uh, definition and you will see why uh, in a few minutes. And so you can think of a data analyst as a person that needs to take a huge amount of data and try to make sense of this data and try to uh, solve business problems and give insights that other people in a business might use for different type of decisions. Now for all these roles, I will tell you the average salary, but please bear in mind that uh, finding this information online is very, very difficult. There is a lot of sources on salaries online and also it really depends on the location and experience. And so the average salary for a data analyst in London, UK is uh, 43,000 pounds. And please think of it as a salary for entry level data analyst. And this uh, figure can go way, way higher uh, depending on experience. And now if I do a quick search on LinkedIn for data analyst roles that are still uh, based in London, UK, just to give you an idea, these are some of the companies that uh, are hiring right now for a data analyst position. Now, in terms of technical skills, uh, data analysts might need proficiency in SQL, in Excel and data visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI, but also programming languages like Python or R for data analysis. In terms of soft skills, you can think of analytical thinking, attention to details, communication skills to explain data insights to non-technical stakeholders, and obviously problem solving abilities. But if you want to move beyond analyzing data and get deeper into building the systems behind the analysis, that's where the next role comes in. And I'm talking about the analytics engineer. And this one is a pretty new role that you will see in the market. And this is because um, companies are realizing that maybe they need a role that uh, is required to do some analysis with data, but also need to take care of the pipeline to get that analysis done. And this is where uh, this position was born. It's kind of a, a mix of data analytics and data engineering. And I actually prefer it uh, compared to a pure data engineering role because I don't really like the idea of being completely behind the scenes, which might be the case for a data engineer. And I prefer the idea of building pipeline CTL to get that data ready for analysis, but also doing the analytics itself. An average salary for an analytics engineer with only a few years of experience is 68,000 pounds in London, UK. And again, if I do a quick search at the time of recording this video, these are the companies that are hiring right now for analytics engineer. In terms of technical skills, you can think of advanced SQL, experience with data warehousing solutions like Snowflake and BigQuery, uh, also ETL tools like uh, Airflow and DBT, and also programming languages like Python. And then if you look at soft skills, you can think of strong organizational skills, project management, ability to collaborate with uh, data engineers and analysts, and critical thinking to design efficient data workflows. Now, what if you want to use data to shape the success of products you use every day? Everything from your favorite apps to physical products. Well, there is one role that's all about turning data into product improvements, and it's quickly becoming a top career choice. And I'm talking about the product data analyst. Now, a lot of people are not even aware of this role, but you can think as a product data analyst, as a data analyst that focuses on product data. So what do I mean by that? When we're talking about a product, we can talk about a web platform like uh, Netflix, or it can be an app like Spotify, or even the YouTube website. And so product data analysts, they have to analyze product data to actually shape how a website or a landing page or a app will look like in the front end. 
and so they will use data but also they will use a lot of statistics and um, different methods like a b testing if i want to give you a very practical example of what a b testing is i can actually use my youtube channel as a perfect case and so for instance right now youtube has this feature where I can upload for a YouTube video that you see in my channel up to three uh, images that will be shown as a cover of uh, that specific video. And then YouTube automatically will do a A-B testing of this cover and see which one is performing better based on the amount of clicks that uh, my video receives. And this is exactly the job of a product data analyst. Maybe they have a new uh, feature or a new button that they want to add in a website and uh, they obviously want to test the current version of that website with a new version of the website with that additional features. And so that's where uh, there is uh, obviously a lot of data involved because maybe a lot of users are uh, navigating through the website. And so the product data analyst has to uh, take care of this kind of analysis and understand if this new test, if this new feature is actually improving performance or not. The average salary for a product data analyst in London, UK is uh, 60K. And again, if I perform a quick search on LinkedIn, right now, uh, these are the companies that are hiring for a product data analyst, again, in London, UK. In terms of technical skills, you can think of SQL for querying product data, A-B testing knowledge, super important, familiarity with uh, analytical tools like Google Analytics and Mixpanel, and also data visualization skills like Tableau and Power BI that we mentioned before. For soft skills, we have user-centric thinking, ability to translate data into actionable insights and communication skills to work closely with the product managers and also designers. But if you want to go even further, working on a broader scale with multiple clients or industry, then the next job is one you will need to know about. And I'm talking about data consultant. Now, data consultant is a very generic definition because we are talking here about a person that is working with data in a consulting environment. And so obviously the role of this person will heavily depend on the need of a specific client. Usually data consultant can take the role of a data analyst if there is a data analytical project that needs to be done. Or there can be things like a massive data migration that a client for the consulting company uh, needs to do as well. And so you can think of it as, for example, let's say that a company wants to migrate all of its uh, platform and data from uh, GCP to AWS, then probably they will ask the data consultant what's the best way and the best strategy to do that. The average salary for a data consultant in London, UK is £55,000. And companies that are hiring for data consultants, you can think of big four like Deloitte, EY, PwC, KPMG or also the big three that are uh, BCG, McKinsey and Bain. And for technical skills, you might think of things like knowledge of data analysis, data management and familiarity with multiple data tools like SQL, Tableau and cloud platforms. And also the ability to quickly learn new tools based on client needs is super valuable. And for soft skills, again, strong communication skills, uh, adaptability, client management and a consulting mindset focused on uh, delivering tailored data solutions and strategies. Now, if you are someone who loves digging deep into data, developing machine learning models and making big discoveries and research, then you might consider the next career, which is a dream job for many today. And I'm talking about the famous data scientist. Now, if you remember, I mentioned that data analyst is exploring data from the past to also understand what happened in the past. Whereas data scientists, they use data from the past, but to understand what might happen in the future. And so they make prediction. And this is where machine learning comes into play, because most machine learning models are built to uh, predict the future. The average salary for a data scientist in London, UK is uh, £77,000. And again, if I perform a quick search on LinkedIn, these are the companies that are hiring for data scientist role in London, UK right now. For technical skills, well, we definitely have programming languages like Python and R. We have machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow, statistical analysis, and also data manipulation skills. And for soft skills, probably the most important one is the ability to communicate complex findings and collaborate with cross-functional teams. Now, as I promised, I have a bonus data role that I want to mention, which is booming right now, especially with the generative AI revolution, and could be the ultimate combination of data and business strategy. And here I'm talking about a data product manager. So uh, this role needs to understand data science and engineering concepts, but doesn't necessarily need to be an expert. 
And so a data product manager uh, plays a unique role at the intersection of data science, product management, and business strategy. And so unlike traditional product managers that uh, focus primarily on user-facing features, a data product manager work on both front and back end aspects, ensuring that data is, for example, effectively collected, processed, and also used for uh, product experience. And if I want to give you a practical example, you can imagine a data product manager at Spotify who is uh, overseeing the recommendation engine. So they would define the requirements for how the recommendation algorithm should function based on uh, users' listening uh, patterns. But also they work with data scientists to refine the algorithm, ensuring that it offers a very good recommendation. They also collaborate with engineers to make sure that the recommendation uh, is uh, seamlessly integrated with the app. For example, might need to communicate with the marketing and customer experience to align the recommendation with the Spotify brand and user expectation. And so for the technical skills, you can think of understanding uh, data analysis and machine learning concepts, also familiarity with SQLs and experience with the product management tools like Jira and Asana. And then for soft skills, they obviously need leadership, uh, strategic thinking, project management, and excellent communication skills. The average salary in the UK is £80,000. Uh, this is obviously because it's a more senior level role. And again, these are the companies that are hiring right now for a data product manager in London, UK. And there you have it. This is a list of the top five, uh, actually top six data careers that you can find right now. If you found at least one useful information in this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can help you even further in the next videos. And when in case you want to learn more about data analytics, which is the career I'm currently in, uh, I put together a video where I teach pretty much all I learned in my six years of experience as a data analytics lead. There is a huge amount of value that I compressed in only one video. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out and I will leave the link here. And well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.